Today I'll show you um, how to create a bootable USB drive for Mac OS. Uh, Mac OS it can be from Al, Al Capitan up to Catalina. So in what situation you will need that? Um, basically you need it for reinstalling the Mac OS or you want to upgrade your Mac OS or having a bootable drive is so much convenient in situation where um, you don't have internet access Basically, you can just plug it in the USB drive to your computer or if you want to just give it to your family member who's elderly, don't know how to use um, or how to download it or how to reinstall it, you can just simply have them plug it in and then go from there. So in this process, you're going to need a USB drive. Um, I would prefer at least 16 gigabyte based on the um, operating system you want. I know Catalina require at least 8 gigabyte ish but the older operating system needs uh, around 4 to 5 so I recommend 16 gigabyte uh, but these days 16 gigabyte is like so cheap you can get it from um, less than 10 or 15 bucks and then once you have the USB drive make sure that you uh, format it as a Mac OS extended journal uh, so because sometimes once you buy a brand new USB drive uh, it comes with Windows um, Potential Windows format on it, so that's just that. And so I'll show you how you can get started. So first, um, let's say if you want to install a Catalina, um, I would suggest you go to App Store and then just type in Catalina and then download it. So which is gonna look like this, all right? And then once it downloaded, um, is what's gonna happen is gonna auto um, open it up just like that. Hey, it's ready to go. But we don't want that anything from it. We don't want to install it. We just want to download it. So have an installer file. So just quit it. So you can just ignore it. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, process in a uh, terminal. Okay. So so this is from the Apple support link that um, you can easily follow the command line right here. Uh, that should uh, take care of that for you. Um, so let's say you want to do a Catalina. So you can simply copy this whole command line and then you, you open up a terminal. Alright, so then what you want to do is you're going to just enter it. So um, in my situation, uh, my drive is um, my drive is um, USB. So I just name it a USB to so make it simple. Uh, after your uh, Mac OS is downloaded, basically you're gonna see that in the application folder. So which is gonna look like this, all right? So since my my drive is USB, so all I need to do is change it to USB at the end, and then the other will just need to copy over. Once it's done, you click enter. Of course, you're gonna enter your computer password. Once it's done, hey, are you sure it's gonna be erased again? Of course, I'm gonna say yes. Then it's gonna erase it. So uh, depending on the um, size of the OS and then the computer speed, I uh, would we'll say it can take from a few minutes up to uh, 15, 20 minutes. So now we're just gonna uh, leave that alone and then but let, uh, also based on the USB drive um, speed as well. Some of the USB drive the 2.0, but if you have a 3.0, that process it a lot faster. If this run, uh, so basically once it's done, um, you just need to shut down your Mac. Then you're gonna hold down an Option key on the keyboard. Then um, once you boot it up, you will see a um, installer drive listed in there. You're gonna select it and it's going to boot from your um, USB drive then you basically need to continue where you see a in, uh, install Mac OS option then you select your drive if you just want to reinstall but if you wanted to like erase and reinstall then you gotta go to this utility and erase then you reinstall the operating system so that is the process um, Leave a comment if any question. I hope you find this um, video helpful. Alright, take care guys.